Hello Scorpio and welcome to your almost personal readings. It's going to be a twin flame reading but you may also get messages about anything else you're going through in your life as well and when I did the daily twin flame reading on Sunday your card came out and that's why we're doing a reading today. So whether this is your energy of the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising or it's your twin sign this reading will resonate with you. And we're going to use the new Mythic Tarot to do this. This is a beautiful deck. I haven't used it for a while. And, you know, while I'm showing the cards close up in this way, it's really powerful. I'm also going to bring in a message from the Masculine the Silence deck. Because, you know, if there is any silence between you, if it is hurting your heart right now, it's always nice to know what's going on. So I'm going to shuffle the deck and we're going to get an almost personal reading. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around Scorpio? Scorpio twin flames, what do we need to know? What's the energy? And I'm going to do a salty cross spread to bring in this reading. So a lot of cards have just fell out. So I'm actually going to use the cards that have fell out. And I've got one card as a main message. So the main message there is the Ten of Cups. Now, this is an energy of power. You know, the Ten of Cups means that you will achieve your dreams. Now, your dream right now may be the relationship you want with your twin, that you're building and working towards union. And that card is a symbol of union. So this is really saying to you, whatever you're worrying about right now, whatever's going on between you, whatever's causing pain, drama or stress, give that to God because your union is imminent. You know, it's obvious here that you're meant to be. And you can see as well that when I'm seeing with the two angels there, I'm seeing the angel on the left is the divine feminine and the angel on the right is the divine masculine. So I'm seeing this as the divine feminine wearing this beautiful gold energy of power. So this is the goddess energy coming through. And, you know, she's got a hand on a hip, so there's confidence there. This is reminding you, no matter what's going on between you, to have confidence in your connection. And the fact that the masculine there is wearing just that loincloth is a symbol of vulnerability. And that they are removing all the layers to be authentic and open with you. So you're building this future. And, you know, because the cups are kind of standing on one another in that way there... Now, I'll just bring this a bit closer. You know, this is a lot like it's building. It's building to the crescendo or the crescendo of what you want. You know, it's building into what you want. Now, all these cards here flew out the deck, so I'm going to read them as we go. So we've got here, yeah, I mean, look at this, the five of cups. So I feel you may be worrying about when it's going to happen, if it's going to happen, the things that have happened in the past. This is an energy where you're focusing on what isn't there in your life instead of what is in your life. This is where we get frustrated, we get fed up, we get annoyed. You know, we feel like things aren't ever going to work out and we start getting triggered. So there may be trigger energy around you right now. It may not be every day, but maybe every other day or something comes up and it starts hurting your heart. And the angels are reminding you in this moment to focus on all the good things you have, all the blessings, all the reasons that you have to be happy. Think about the good in your life, be grateful. And also understand there's a new beginning ahead because when I'm connecting with your twin, I'm seeing this as he's ready to take that leap. He wants to, you know, he wants to reach out to you. He wants to move forward. And he's saying, I am doing my part. I am doing what I've come here to do. It may not seem that way, but I am. This is about trusting. And I'm seeing this bird here as an eagle about to take flight. So it feels like the results haven't shown up yet, but they will. And they give me fear. So release any fear about your masculine taking action to you because he's showing you he wants to take that leap and that eagle is about to take flight. And we've got the king of pentacles because he is focused on you and he is focused on this love and this love is real. So whatever is hurting your heart or upsetting you or getting to you, give it to God. Trust the love. He's saying to you, I am focused on this love and I want to be able to bring something real to the connection. So you can see he's holding the pentacle there because he's saying money and work are important to me. So he may be busy at work. He may be dealing with finances. And obviously on this journey, we realize it's not about the material success. It's about the spiritual success, the 
feeling good. You know, when we have all of that success, we have inner success, we gain outer success. And he's saying, you know, I do want to be able to provide for our future. I do want to be able to feel good enough for you. These are the things he's working on. And he's saying, I am on my way. So the Knight of Cups is coming through to show you he is on his way to you. And it may not feel like that because there may be struggles or challenges or obstacles or delays or karmic situations. But he is coming to you and he's holding that cup in his hand and he's saying, I'm on my way. And he wants to be able to commit to you. You know, he wants to be able to bring in good news. He's reminding you that he is learning and growing just like you. And the Three of Swords is why separation occurs. You know, why these struggles come in to grow you, to make you stronger. And you're going to work together as a team to clear the air. And I'm seeing this as a rebirth energy. You know, I'm seeing this, I mean, you may see that as different, but I'm seeing that as someone being baptized, being cleansed of the past, being healed. And you're being reminded of your power as a divine feminine or as a strong warrior. And that, you know, this is time for you to work on your goals and dreams too. So I feel that you both have things you want to achieve, things that you want to do. You both want to be successful in your own right to be together. And he's showing you he wants to apologize to you and make things right. And that's the progress that's coming in. So I'm actually feeling these are extra cards. Okay, because they jumped out of the deck and I still want to do an almost personal reading. So I'm going to split the deck into three and I'm going to pull the cards off the top of the deck. So I feel that's just a little extra message there saying your union is coming, but you have to believe in it to know it's real. So the reason we're asking the question is we've got the eight of pentacles in reverse. So it may feel like hard work, but things are getting easier now because when we learn and understand about the journey, it feels easier. We feel a relief because we know we're not going mad. So the real message coming up here is he is working hard. And you might be thinking, is my masculine doing what he needs to do, you know, to be with me, to make things happen? And he's showing you that it is. The thing that's, you know, in the way right now is the seven of swords. So this is the energy where it all feels a bit much. You know, you may not like the, the way things are happening or what's happening. Because you've got the big shadow there. You know, so this is facing the shadows, the shadow side of the connection, the darkness. This is when you feel there's a struggle there. And, you know, you've got the full moon there as well because that's showing you, it's helping you to reflect and it's bringing things up to the surface. So I feel there's a real deep night of the soul going on, whether that's within you or your twin or both of you. But you're both finding a way out of that energy so you can come together. So the message is... You know, this is really about balance right now. Let me just take these cards out so I can put them in across so I know what I'm doing here. So the two of pentacles is showing you there that, and it's very much like the eight of pentacles. It's the same energy. Look at this, you know, hard work, hard work. He's saying, I'm working hard right now to balance my energy. This has to be a balanced connection. It has to be right for us to come into union. And this is what you need to know. Is this becoming more balanced? Is this working out? And what's coming into the immediate future is the energy of the lovers. So focus on the love. Focus on the power. This is also a reunion energy I'm feeling here. It's about coming together with other like-minded beings, other divine feminines, and trusting in the love. And there is happiness coming into your life. You know, there is happiness ahead for you, but you have to see it and feel it and understand it. And when I say see it, I mean see the good things around you. Focus on the blessings that you have. Focus on all the good around you that makes you feel good. Trust the love and the power of it to move it forward. And remember, it's all about spiritual growth. Your twin is still growing, still learning, still finding themselves, still understanding who they are and why they've come. And you know there's hope for the future. You know there is. You know it's real. You know, this is about opening that box and all the magic coming out. So focus on the good things in your life. And, you know, she's naked in this card because you may feel vulnerable. You may feel, you know, a little bit like you've been too transparent or too open or too honest. But there's never too much honesty or openness or transparency in this love. It's the strength and the power. It's not a weakness. And your twin is saying, I do love and care about you. I do want you in my life. 
and I do feel the things that you feel. I just wear a mask sometimes and hide it. And what's currently also blocking the connection is judgment. So release any judgment, expecting things to happen a certain way or within a certain timeline and release all the fear. And the outcome is the four of wands. So the energy between you and this card's moving at the bottom of the deck as well, is you are building a solid foundation. You are building a future, even if it feels stuck or stagnant or you're not sure what's going on. So... This is the energy they want you to take away from this reading, that things are happening. It may not be quite here yet. It's on the horizon, but your ship is coming in. So I'm going to use the Divine Mask and the Silence deck to bring in a message from your twin about your future and what he wants you to know. So a few cards coming out here. The main card coming out is this one. He's saying, why do you want me? So this is what he's struggling with and dealing with. Why do you want me? And it doesn't matter if you're the Scorpio or your twin is the Scorpio. This is what he's saying. He's saying, why do you want me? And you're saying, well, I love you and I want you. And he's saying, okay, well, I'm starting to believe that we can be happy. I'm starting to believe that I can give you what, what you want. I'm starting to believe that this, this love is possible in a real way. And he's saying, I keep seeing 555. Five, five. So 555 five, five is a great symbol of change and the connection moving forward. And he's saying, you are a part of me and I can always feel you. And that's why sometimes he gets so intense. He can get so painful because you feel what he's going through when he feels like, why do you want me? When he's feeling unworthy of you, when he's feeling pains and he's saying i'm trying to find a way out of my situation and that's why i'm seeing 555 five, five. and i'm too angry right now let me cool down so there could be some arguments conflict around him pain and i do feel you know what he's doing is spending a lot of time working to either distract himself from his life and his situation or to get things into place you know, he's saying to you, I need to bring in balance. So, you know, if he isn't working for any reason, he is working on the self. You know, I feel he could be spending time alone thinking, you know, working things out. And the message for you is there's so much hope in your connection, but you have to believe in it and trust in it and focus on the gut. And that's why we got, you know, the five of, the five of cups and this energy coming out here because... This may be when you're focusing on the things that aren't there instead of the gut. But the energy is the Ten of Cups. You know, this is showing you you're building that future. And to get the Four of Wands coming out as well, I'm just looking for the card wherever I've put it. You know, as the outcome card, I mean, that's a huge sign of things moving forward. I keep looking for the cards and it's behind here. So, you know, you've got the Four of Wands. And you've got the Ten of Cups, which is a great message and a great sign about reunion and things happening. But don't be upset or, you know, triggered by things going on because you've got this and you are protected by angels. And the heavens want you to know that. So, you know, when I'm connecting with your energy, it feels like there's a lot of pain energy there. Maybe you're even going through ascension and it's been causing pain within the body. And that can also drag you down. You know, they give me a little bit of neck pain when I'm connecting with this, which is about changes. And that's why you're seeing 555. Five, five. But ultimately, I have confidence in your connection because the power is love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.